Well, today is a very sad day. Belle's over there. You have her covered up. She died. And my heart's kind of sad and broken because she was a rescue horse. And I know she was old when we got her. And I knew the day would come and we were planning on putting her down next month. My heart just couldn't do it this month. But it looks like she got called home early. So it's been a rough couple of weeks. Chief died three weeks ago. Chrysalis horse and it was rough he died in our trailer a new trailer we got for him the leader was taking our trailer up with her horse and some other horses and some other girls to ride in the hills and the trailer was shaking so they got to a gas station pulled over going out of town and chief was already past so we had to deal with that luckily for us he was up in the front of the trailer and not in the back so the other horses were able to get out and then we were able to take him to get him out and chief died and then my mother-in-law died just recently and we had to go to a celebration of life and that was horrible and upsetting and awkward and terrible and now Belle so I don't know life has its moments where it kind of sucks but then we have to move on and get past the sucky moments in life I guess and look forward to the kidding season coming up in December this is where she hung out for in the spring and she loved this pasture and she loved this place we brought her here last spring brought her here this spring and summer and she just loved being out here and roaming around and being a horse I was getting ready to bring her back to our house as soon as the waters from the canal stopped and plan on putting her down next month So, she'll be buried out here. We're just waiting on the guy who lives here to get a backhoe over here. And then they're going to bury her out here. Because there was no way I can get her anywhere else to take care of her. So, beautiful place she had out here. And yeah, she's a very, very sad month for us. But things will get better and we will be able to move past this. I'm sure I'm going to have tears for a while. Every time I think about her for probably a few days for sure. Probably a week. And she was my buddy. My friend. I loved that horse and she loved me. Pretty much I was the only one that could make her listen and ride her. She didn't listen to anybody else. That first got her, we established a relationship pretty quickly. She, she was a good, good little mare. And she didn't bother anything out here. She just walks around and eats and does what a horse is supposed to be doing. So, yeah, I guess that's it for now. And I'll do another update. Let y'all know how everything else is going with the does. Hopefully all of our does are bred. We have eight does now. And we'll see how that goes. It looks like everybody's pregnant. So we'll do an update on that pretty soon. Hope y'all all have a good day and a good week and a good month. See you later, guys.